Hello and welcome to Second Drafts, everything you need to write, edit, and publish your way. Today we'll be talking about the program I use to make my ebooks, Sigil. Sigil is a free program which has a lot of functionality and makes creating ebooks relatively easy. Unlike some other programs such as Scrivener, Sigil allows you to have a lot of control over the look and feel of the ebook but it also requires some knowledge of HTML and CSS in order to get the most out of it. By far the best feature I've found with Sigil is its ability to create a table of contents and an NCX file for you with the press of a button. We'll be covering how to do that, as well as explain what an NCX is in a future video. In our next video, we'll be going over what you can do to customize your ebook. So for today, Let's just get Sigil set up to work with Kindle Gen so that you can start creating Kindle ebooks in no time. All right, so the first thing that you'll want to do is download Sigil with the link in the description. Or just search for Sigil on Google. They're constantly releasing new versions of the software with improvements, so the link in the description could become outdated quickly. After you've downloaded and installed Sigil, You'll also want to download the Kindle Gen plugin for it, with the link in the description. Once you have that downloaded, make sure to place it in a location that is easily accessible, as we'll need to find it again later. Now, with that downloaded, open Sigil, go to Plugins at the top, click Manage Plugins, then check the box that says Use Bundled Python next to it. Python is a programming language that will allow Sigil to work with the Kindle Gen plugin, so that needs to be checked for it to work. Now, click Add Plugin on the right near the bottom. Now you just have to find the Kindle Gen plugin which you downloaded earlier and then double click on it. Now the Kindle Gen is ready to work with Sigil and you can start making Kindle files. The next step isn't necessary but can help with the size of the Kindle files. First, click OK on the bottom right of the open window. Then go back to Plugins, hover over Output, and click Kindle Gen. This is where you'll want to go when you have everything in your ebook ready and want to create a Kindle file. When you're ready, you'll click Start, and then Sigil will handle the rest. For our purposes, Click Start Now. It won't actually make anything because there's no metadata to work with. But don't worry, we didn't really want to create a Kindle file just yet anyway. What this did was create a preferences file for us to work with, so we can now go and change things to our liking. So click OK at the bottom to exit the Kindle Gen page. Go back to Plugins. Click Manage Plugins again. Then on the bottom left, click Open Preferences Location. This opened the folder for where Sigil stores the plugins and other information. Go into the Plugins folder, then the Kindle Gen folder, and open kindlegen.ini with Notepad++. On line 25 for compression, change whatever number it shows to 2. This increases the compression of the file and will make our end result smaller. This is important because Amazon charges 15 cents per megabyte that is delivered to the customer. The smaller your file, the more you'll make in the end. The smaller the file, the more money you'll make in the end. Another thing you can do before saving and exiting is change the path of where the Kindle files are saved to. By default, it saves them to the desktop. But if you prefer them going somewhere else, on line 19, after the equals sign, put a space, then the directory of whatever folder you want the file saved to. This would need to be a string starting with the hard drive letter, 
then each subsequent folder down to where you want it saved. An easy way to get this is to go to the folder you want the file saved to, right click on a file in the folder, and go to Properties at the bottom. Then on that first tab, the General tab, it has a category that says Location. You can highlight that, right click, and then copy and paste it over to the Kindle Gen settings in Notepad++. Don't forget to save the file in Notepad++, and you're all set with Sigil. The last thing you should do is download Kindle Previewer. This program mimics the look of a Kindle ebook reader so that you can see if the file looks right before you upload it. It's essential that this is done so that you don't upload something that's improperly formatted. Once you've downloaded and installed Kindle Previewer, we're all done with this step. Alright, now we have Sigil set up for the next step, importing the HTML file we've created and customizing it to our liking. For now, if you have any questions, be sure to ask them in the comments below, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything, and remember that Second Drafts has everything you need to write, edit, and publish your way. Do you want to support production of this YouTube series? Visit www.patreon.com slash and become a patron today.